Alright, now, in this episode, what I want to talk about is ranging and spacing. Now, I know this is a lower level opponent, but this, I found, was a good match for me to demonstrate this kind of, you know, movement and proper spacing. Now, this is just an open lobby, I open the lobby and just let people come in. Now, I'm going to pause the match at the beginning. Now, I know that he's playing... Devil Jin and Kazuya so what I think sh you should do and this is specifically as well well more or less for tournament opponents so if they know the characters that their opponent is playing they should go through their head and think okay what moves am I most likely to see what am I most likely to expect so in this match here he's using Devil Jin and Kazuya so in my mind I know that that team is very weak to sidestep left so I'm going to keep it a range where I know that most of their moves that they want to use, the electrics, the hell sweeps, they're all going to whiff if I sidestep left. So if you watch this match, you're going to see how I keep a range where that range there, I'm going to keep it that range for the whole match and sidestep left. So let's keep watching. I'm going to maybe backdash a bit and then go back into that range, see, where the sidestep left will beat what he wants to do. Okay, he knocked me down, go back to that range, sidestep left, and there I don't fluff up the combo. Now, I feel this is very important that you know your opponent's character to a certain extent. You don't have to know everything because this game has got a lot of strings, but I say in my head you should know the key things that that opponent's going to do. So, look, I'm going to keep it, you know, well, that's unlucky for him. Keep it at range and, try and attempt to punish everything. Now, here... I'm backed against the wall, so I'm just going to block and then back out. Now keep it at range. See, side step left. And what this is in turn doing now is he's playing my game. He's not playing his game. He's scared now to throw out health sweeps, electrics. He doesn't really know what to do. You see what I'm saying? So he's just been into now can't hit electrics. Now, obviously, this guy's a low level, so he should be stopping me playing my game, but. As you can see, well, I made a bad read there, but as you can see here, I'm trying to keep it at optimum range where I can step left and most of his things are going to whiff. So you're going to see here, just keep it at range. See, now he's forced to walk in, he's getting frustrated. So I'll keep it at range again. Well, oh, I blocked that. Should have punished it. Keep it at range again. Just keep it at range. Go back to that range. Back dash out a bit. Back to that range where what he wants to do is just going to whiff. So I think this is very important to know what your who your point you're facing and know like a correct kind of range of how they play so if that guy was playing for example you know um uh let's think of a good example like dragon off so you're gonna go into the match thinking okay what moves am i likely to see okay while running twos um down twos maybe down forward ones as a poke maybe down forward four so you'd be thinking okay what way do I step and what range and also a thing is certain moves come out of certain ranges so this is off, off another character so say for like Armor King if he's like, at like nearly half screen you're gonna think what moves can hit me maybe a shoulder barge as a punish although they don't really get a threat out capital punish with this one so look out for certain moves at certain ranges so I kept in that range where I know he would want to hell sweep electric and I sidestep left and block, sidestep left and block. And in turn, it really, you know, showed dom I dominated him. So even though he's a low-level opponent, but this is I just want to use this as, as an example. So I hope this episode kind of brings something to you about rages and knowing your char the char your opponent that you're facing, character. Especially if you're getting into tournament and you know uh, this guy plays Jack. So, you know, think about what he's going to do, what is the best range to play him at. So yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, you know the drill, I said it before, I'm sure you've not watched the other episodes, if you haven't watched the other episodes, and I'll be back with the next one.